Uh-oh. Luke's left me with this. Should be alright. I've left the eggs in the car. So. <laughs> Oh, it looks good. Hi, Jenna, what are you saying? Naughty. Hello, everybody. How you doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, hi, my name's Luke. I'm in an apron. I'm going to be doing some bacon today. As you can tell by the title, Easter is fast approaching, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to get into the kitchen, do a bit of Easter bacon, and we're going to be making a chocolate cake with all of the Easter chocolate you can possibly imagine. But as you know, I do like to bake, but it's always nice to have a little bit of extra hands, and I've got the hands of the one and only Mr. Carrington. Come on in. Come on in. Get my apron on. Yeah, apron at the ready. No, no, no. <laughs> From one video to another, we've just filmed a video with Mr. Carrington, also known as Ewan. If those of you who don't know who he is, he's wonderful. He's a YouTuber, Instagrammer, all that good stuff. I'll leave his handles on the screen right now, and I'll also link them down below. And um, we just filmed a DIY over on Ewan's channel, which is very cool, super quick, super easy. So if you're in the mood for doing a bit of DIY, head on over there. It involves some hot glue, all that good <laughs> Just stuff. Just a blob. Yeah. But yeah, as you are, if you're a viewer for quite some time now, you will know that we do enjoy a bit of bacon. I'll link some previous videos that we filmed down below as well if you want to check them out. But today we're making the chocolate cake. I'm very excited for this one. Do you, like, do you know what? I'm not a massive fan of chocolate cake. Ooh, However, what? it's probably one of the things I choose like after maybe like a sticky toffee pudding yes. or... I see what you're saying. Like a yeah. carrot cake or a coffee cake. But yeah. I think if you can make a good chocolate cake, mm -hmm. which this one is, it's trialed and tested. Yeah. I feel like room for a winner. And it's oh, got a load. It's got cream eggs mini eggs, Naughty. all that good stuff. So yeah, if you are um, in the mood for doing a bit of bacon, by all means do follow along at home. The recipe will be linked um, down below and also written out as well if you prefer to follow along like that. Do check out Ewan as well. I'll leave all his socials down there too. Thank you. We've both washed our hands already to go. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's start some baking. I'm gonna run through the ingredients with you guys. And then we're <laughs> Grab your tail. Off. Okay, so the full list of ingredients, as I said, is going to be down below. But you are going to need some vegetable oil, some soft brown sugar, some cocoa powder, some buttermilk. If you can't get your hands on buttermilk, just buy regular full fat milk and then add some lemon juice to it. I will leave the method to do that down below. You're also going to need some vanilla extract, some self raisin flour, some baking powder. Sorry, that's the one way around. Baking powder, two blocks of unsalted butter. You're also going to need some icing sugar for the frosting. There's just a little bit left in here, but I've got two lots. And then some chocolate of your choice. We've gone for mini eggs. You a fan of mini eggs, you? I love a mini egg. They're delicious. There probably won't be a lot of them left by the end of this video because we're going to be chowing down on them. Got some cream eggs as well. And I picked up this little white chocolate bunny, which I thought would be quite nice to pop on top as well. And then in terms of equipment, I've just got some cake tins here that I've lined with some parchment paper, a wooden spoon, a spatula, some electronic scales, and my trusty kitchen aid. You don't need this fancy equipment at all, guys. If you're doing this with like kids and stuff and you want to get like a hand whisk involved, you definitely can. Right? That's everything. You will notice, in true Mr. Carrington Luke style, um, we are missing an ingredient, eggs. I just went, eggs? They're in the car. I've left the eggs in the car. So, I'm going to leave you in the trusty hands of you. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure at all. Can put a stopwatch on I was about to say, okay. I, I reckon I can get to my car and back in about five minutes. So I'm That's long! Oh, I can't gosh. keep them bo a ball and senseless in <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> I'm going to give you three. Oh, oh, God. oh wow. Come okay. on, you can do it. I can do it. It's quite far, isn't I'm, it? I'll, I'll get my job on. I'll get my job on. I'll take the apron off. I've got it. Have you? Yeah. Okay. Phew. Right. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put 250 grams of plain flour into the bowl. Yes. I've set this to zero. This says self-raising, but I think this is fine. Luke's left me with this. Should be all right. Uh-oh. Right, we've hit a hurdle already. It says 250 grams, but there's only 200 <laughs> grams in the pot. <laughs> what are we going to do? Okay, we'll just have to remember that that's 50 grams less. We'll deal with that afterwards. I'm presuming that this is a teaspoon. It says half teaspoon. So we do 12. Two teaspoons of baking powder. But Luke said just to do one. That's dry, that's dry, that's dry. 280 grams of soft light brown sugar. Did I make it? Four minutes, ten seconds. Oh! Well done. <laughs> two minutes there, two minutes back. Now, I don't want to alarm you. Oh no, what happened? I think everything's under control. Okay. But the flour... Mm -hmm. Are we all having 200 grams? Oh, we've got more of that. Oh, we've got more. Sorry, this does not mean to counting things very well. Yeah, we've got plenty. That's right. 
So we need to add another 50 grams of flour. Perfect, in that case. I held up on the sugar because I thought. <clears throat> just in case. That's half teaspoons. So I doubled two lemon. 12. Yeah, 12. 12 teaspoons. 12 half teaspoons, 6 teaspoons. A 6 teaspoons of bicarb? No. <laughs> Big of what? Of this. Of this one. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hang on, wait, what does this say? 2 teaspoons. Cocoa powder. Oh, I thought you said of. No. Big of powder. Right? Yes, that's oh, right. 12 of these. 12 of these. <laughs> Guys, we're all in a flurry. I thought you just put 12 teaspoons no. of baking powder in the cake. <laughs> 12 of those makes and one. I did one of one thing. You're good. Like, there right. we are. We're all good. I did listen. <laughs> you do need three free range eggs for this, guys. Um, which we do have here. Warming in the car. <laughs> so, into a measuring jug, I'm going to add 200 ml of oil and then three free range eggs in there, too. Not like that. <laughs> 200 ml of veg oil going in. Right, there we go, 200 ml of oil, perfect, two. And then we're gonna crack in three eggs. So one, perfect, two, and then three. Amazing. Right, so we're gonna just give that a little dry whisk in there just to get all the ingredients combined. So yeah, oh God, he remembers, he remembers. And then just on one. Fab. Oh. oh. <laughs> I love how we both went, oh. <laughs> so. Grab yourself a little mini whisk, completely optional but absolutely brilliant. Give those a little fab. And then we're going to add a little splash of vanilla. How good is that whisk? It's brilliant. Love that. Um, and then we need to add buttermilk, which I just need to refresh myself how much we actually do need. Okie dokie, so we're going to do eggs in first and then we're going to add in the buttermilk. So, sorry Ewan, I feel like you're making you do all this yourself. Mm -hmm. Let's bang it all in mate, we're good to go. Ain't got time to wait around, it's Easter. Yeah, <laughs> go on, the bunny's on his way. <laughs> And then the um, yeah, just, I just put some most water. Of it. Yeah, I'd say most of the buttermilk. And what like is buttermilk. It's just more set milk than like cream. No, it's less than cream, more than milk. Sour, basically, but yeah. it just adds to the texture of it. This you can use in pancakes if you don't want to waste it, or you can pop it in muffins. It's really nice in muffins as well. Or um, you can just add this to soups. It's really good versatile ingredients. Quite tricky to get a hold of in the UK. I know America has this really accessible, but yeah, it's awesome. I think. Oh, good, mate. So I'm just oiling the tins now, guys. I put maybe a touch too much in, but that's fine. Just make sure they're nice and liberally oiled, otherwise they do have a tendency to stick. I'm going to come close to the camera so you guys can see the ultimate chocolate extravago we've got going on. It's quite a liquidy mix, which is absolutely perfect. I mean, it's going to be really nice and moist and... Sorry, there's that word again. <laughs> it's going to be a good texture. Moist. I've got a bit of my finger. Okay, I'm going to pass you that, and then I've got two tins here, and I'm just going to ask you and decant equally in between the two. We might even have enough to make a three tier cake. Yes. I think, let's do two and see how we go. Just pour it in. Go for it, man. I'd leave a little bit of a room as well, because we're using self-raising flour. We couldn't access plain flour today, but um, if you do this recipe, the recipe does say plain. So we'll just leave a little bit of room for it to, that, for it to rise. Me having rise. Waste not, want not. Absolutely. How many times I say delicious in <laughs> Delicious and moist. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yes. Oh, it looks good. Nigella, what are you saying? <laughs> Naughty. Sometimes I like to just, you know, tackle a spatula. Just pop down in the middle of the night, have a little lick. <laughs> okay, so once your cakes are full, these need to go into a preheated oven. I said 180 degrees, it's 160 degrees fan, 180 if it's a non fan assist, and then you need to bake around 20 to 25 minutes. You're even still digging it outside of camera. Um, check them after 20. Give them a little, um, a little jab. If they are still wet inside, just give them an extra. But don't open the door. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Enjoying yourself. <laughs> right, they're gonna go in the oven. Luke's just doing the washing up. I just thought I'd pop on and ask, what's your favourite Easter egg? Oh. What's yours? Do you know what? I'm, I'm a bit of a classic guy, like a Cadbury yeah. one. Really. I quite like the Galaxy ones as well. Yeah. Oh, I've never had a Galaxy. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Like I'm a Maltese as one. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. No, yeah. No, yeah, I just like the dairy milk ones with the chocolate yeah. ones, they're delicious. <coughs> or a lint one if I'm feeling bougie. A lint one, eh? Yeah. Who love a cream egg, but I feel like they've got smaller. Yeah. No, oh, they look tiny. Yeah, they do but look easily. smaller. Yeah. Mm, that's not right, is it? It isn't a filming oh. day <laughs> if we don't actually have some form of treat. No, no, no. no, no. I would never have these before, you know? They're so good. Thank you, mate. What do they taste like? Um, chocolate. I had these on Instagram, and your mum messaged me saying that she tried to unwrap them. Oh my gosh, she told me about this. <laughs> and because she thought the wrapper was on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so to make the buttercream frosting, it is literally four ingredients. You need 150 grams of unsalted butter, 300 grams of icing sugar, 
4 tablespoons of cocoa powder and 2 tablespoons of milk. Oh my god, that was really good! Oh, I knew there was a reason I invited you along to film. So, when it comes to butter, I've had this out for around 2 hours, um, just to get it nice and soft, just to make sure it really does whip up beautifully. So we need 150 grams of this. Hey, uh, on oh, the dot. Right, perfect. Cool. So what I'm going to do is pop that in the KitchenAid and let that whip up for around four minutes just until it's nice and white and pale. On your marks, get set, break! Amazing, I'm going to do a little punch into that. Okay, and then into the bowl we're going to add 300 grams of icing sugar. I give it a cheeky little sift as well just to make sure there's no like, lumps in there. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of cocoa powder and four tablespoons of milk. Completely varies on the texture. We want it to be nice and stiff but nice to be able to spread, so yeah. It's always interesting to sift an ice and sugar because it ends up being like a cloud, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what you learn. So, what I do tend to do with um, these kitchen is, is I lock it in, plonk this, oh no, sorry, plonk this down, and then I grab a tea towel and just pop it over the lid just so that it doesn't go whoosh everywhere. I learned that from the Great British Beer Cop. Well, that's a good tip. There we go. So start it on low and then yeah. let it do its thing. Right, yeah, so we're going to add two tablespoons of cocoa powder, so that's one, and then two, this just gives it a lovely colour and a nice chocolatey taste. <laughs> the camera's still rolling, please tell me they got that! <laughs> Make sure your bowl's locked in, folks, because you never want that to happen. So the cakes are big. They're looking very, very nice, nice and springy. They've got a good rise on them. They had about 23 minutes in total. Um, what is a really good idea to do as well, you don't have to do this at all, but you can use a serrated knife just to level the top side, just to make sure you've got like a nice, even flat surface. I'm gonna do that to the top one just to make sure it's nice and flat, and then cover it with the icing. Also, you just wanna leave these to cool fully before you put the icing on, otherwise it'll melt. And then we're just gonna decorate it with some lovely bits and bobs. Our little friend, maybe we should give him a name, him or her. Oh yeah. There we are. Name for the bunny. Name for the bunny. We need to have something going on with this little fella. It's going to get jabbed in the cake as well, so it's going to look very festive. It's going to have all of your legs, or she, he, she. Let me know. I'm always struggle with names. <laughs> um, I'm going to do the icing of the cake now. This is the best part yes. for me, in my opinion. It's a bit where everyone gets involved because you can just absolutely slap it on and make it look delicious. And um, so, I'm going to bring you guys over and show you what we're going to be dealing with. So when I turned them out, oosh, when I turned them out, I put them top side down. So you've got the flat layer, but then when you flip them back over, you can obviously level them out. So what we're going to do is pop one onto the cake stand with a little bit of frosting and then pile the other one on top, so we're going to get doing that now. Yeah, and um, don't waste the cake crumbs as well. You can, of course, make little cake pops with these, oh, or you can do like cake crumb on um, like an exterior of a cake if you want to do that, or you can just eat it. Nice. Maybe a little bit more than that, chap. Let's yeah. do that. That's a good place to start. A little bit more. Of course, you can fully ice this if you want to have it like an absolutely covered cake, but we're just going to do just the middle for now. More merry you guys. When it comes to Easter, I mean, we're all kind of just over Lent, aren't we? So we just want to be like, right, let's get all the chocolate going on. Fab. And what I'm going to do as well is transfer that back on. Just put a little bit on the bottom. Oh, that's good to stop it moving around. I love that. Fab. Okie dokie. Do the next layer. Mm -hmm. Do you want to grab that? Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Flip it over. Yeah, fab. Oh, I'm actually salivating. Like, I know. Like, <laughs> so good. Yeah, amazing. Fab. A little bit more. Is that, the, is that about the mustard? That nah, will be grand. As you can, obviously, you can, you know, you can be as creative as if you're creative. Sorry, as you want with this, you can pipe it on if you'd like. You can do little turrets. I just quite like the rustic, smooth palette knife. Fine, but it's very, um, it's very homemade. But I always like to see you can be as creative as you like with it. Fab. So that is your frosted chocolate cake, looking very nice. Okay, so, as you can see, oh gosh, it looks like a bit of a graveyard for cream eggs here. <laughs> we've got the um, cream eggs, I've just decided to halve them, just so you can see inside them. And then we've got the little bunny rabbit here. Um, I've decided to keep one cream egg whole as well. And then also, we've got some Smarties orange mini eggs. These are kindly provided by my mum. <laughs> and some mini eggs as well. So we're just going to literally scatter them on top, no manner or fashion or anything like that. I'm just going to make it look nice. So I think, should we put the bunny in first and work around it? Yeah. So we're going to just spear the bunny in, voila, look at that, and then we'll have all of the eggs around it just to make sure we've got it all going on. So let's just make all for it. My god, look at that. Mm. Wow, this looks amazing. Right, okay. 
here, guys. We are officially done. I've rocked in Zara as well. Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Just gonna try this chocolate taste tester. Let me Yay. bring the in. What's the bunny called? This, this is what we've asked people at home. They're gonna name it in the comments. Have you got any suggestions? What do you think? Barry. Barry the bunny. Oh, that's nice. Barry's that's nice. nice. Yeah. I haven't thought of any. No, me neither. Thumper. Either. Original. Thumper. Thumper. From, um... No, Barry. <laughs> right. <laughs> greedy Barry. Greedy Barry. Have a bit of I greedy Barry. It. Should we share one piece, guys, or should we just do okay. three big ones? Because I think that's a hefty slice. Is we'll that all right? Okay, this. <laughs> Sorry, this can be your piece. Thank you. You're very welcome. I mean, it's a chunk and a half, I'm not going to lie. Oh, hello. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> that Some is wedge. a cake and a half. There you go, look. Oh, my God. That's nearly as big as mine. In we go. How big of a chunk would you like to Not too big. Right, we're going to give him a door wedge. <laughs> right, guys, we're going in for the taste test. Here we go. Let me try it out. Yeah, go for it. Get involved. Let me know your thoughts. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's not too chocolatey. Yeah, it's a really good cake, mm -hmm. to be honest. I'm not just saying that. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. Smashed a bit. Mm -hmm. This is making me so happy. Mm -hmm. Just what you need. Lovely shock. If you have enjoyed the video, guys, as always, do give it a thumbs up and let, let me know if you have any um, Easter cakes or Easter bakes that you are doing this Easter and also don't forget to name the bunny and let me know what your favourite Easter egg is down below as well. Lots of things going on. Also do check out Yoon as well. I'm going to link his channel down below and also put his handle on the screen right now. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a lovely Easter, whatever you are getting up to. Yeah, also check out, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. Check out Yoon's DIY video as well. I will link that down below too. Thanks so much for watching, eat cake, be happy, and all that good stuff. I'll see you very soon. Bye!